right, guys. The thing turned off, so we're going to start all over again. Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. This is a story about a little girl and a rabbit. Mr. Rabbit said the little girl, I want help. Help, little girl, I'll give you help if I can, said Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Rabbit said the little girl, it's about my mother. Your mother, said Mr. Rabbit. It's her birthday, said the little girl. Well, happy birthday to her then, said Mr. Rabbit. And what are you giving her? That's just it, said the little girl. That's why I want help. Well, I have nothing to give her. Nothing to give your mother on her birthday, said Mr. Rabbit. Little girl, do you really want my help? I would love to give her something that she likes, said the little girl. Something that she likes is a very good present, said Mr. Rabbit. So they're talking about trying to figure out what to give Mama for her birthday. But what, said the little girl? Well, yes, what, said the rabbit? Well, she likes red, said the little girl. Red, said Mr. Rabbit, you can't give her the color red. Well, something red, maybe, said the little girl. Or, well, what is red? Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there's red underwear. Oh, no, said the little girl, I can't give her red underwear. You guys have red underwear? I don't have any red underwear. There are red roofs, said Mr. Rabbit. No, we have a roof, said the little girl. I don't want to give her that. There are red birds, said Mr. Rabbit. Red cardinals. No, said the little girl. She likes the birds that are in the trees. So they're having a talk about it, aren't they, guys? There are red fire engines, said Mr. Rabbit. No, said the little girl. She doesn't like fire engines. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are red apples. Good, said the little girl. That's good. She loves apples, but I need something else. So they're climbed up in the apple tree and they're getting her some red apples, aren't they? They're going to find something else. What are they going to give her? What do you think? What do you think, Anna? How about you, Marie? Got any ideas? What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, she likes yellow, said the little girl. Yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her the color yellow. Well, something yellow, maybe, said the little girl. Oh, something yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, what is yellow? And so they're walking through the woods, eating the apples and talking about yellow. What's yellow, guys? Gabriel, what's yellow? Lemons. Yeah. Well, said Mr. Rabbit, there are yellow taxi cabs. I'm sure she doesn't want a taxi cab, said the little girl. The sun is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. But I can't give her the sun, said the little girl. Though I would, if I could. A canary bird is yellow, said Mr. Rabbit. She likes birds in the trees, said the little girl. Do you see the little canary up in the tree? You guys see it? It's a pretty little bird, isn't it? They sing. That's right, you told me, said Mr. Rabbit. Well, butter is yellow. Does she like butter? Well, we have butter, said the little girl. Bananas are yellow. Right, Gabe? Bananas are yellow. That's good. That's good, said the little girl. She loves bananas, but I need something else. So now they have an apple and a banana. So they have red and they have yellow. What else? What do you think? What else does she like? Well, she likes green, said the little girl. Green, said Mr. Rabbit. You can't give her the color green. Well, something green, maybe, then, said the little girl. Emeralds, said the rabbit. Emeralds make a lovely gift. I can't afford an emerald, said the little girl. Parrots are green, said the Mr. Rabbit. But she likes birds in the trees. No, said the little girl. Parrots won't do. She's thinking, thinking, thinking really hard. She wants to give her mama something good for her birthday, doesn't she, guys? Peas and spinach, said Mr. Rabbit. Peas are green, spinach is green. No, said the little girl. We have those for dinner all the time. Caterpillars, said Mr. Rabbit. Some of them are very green. She doesn't care about caterpillars, said the little girl. How about pears? Pears, Bartlett pears. The very thing, said the little girl. That's the very thing. Now I have apples and bananas and pears, but I need something else. So they're taking a pear out of the pear tree. She wants to give her mother a bunch, doesn't she? She's a good little girl. What else does she like, said Mr. Rabbit? Well, she likes blue, said the little girl. But you can't give her... I know, said the little girl. Something blue, maybe. Lakes are blue, said the rabbit. But I can't give her a lake, and you know that, said the little girl. She's just having a conversation with this rabbit. He's being pretty silly. Yep, said the little girl. 
Stars are blue. I can't give her stars, said the little girl, but I would if I could. Sapphires make a lovely gift, said Mr. Rabbit, but I can't afford sapphires either, said the little girl. Bluebirds are blue, but she likes birds in the trees, right, guys? Right, said the little girl. So how about blue grapes, said Mr. Rabbit? And they found grapes. Look, he's got a, some grapes in his hand. What colors does she have now, guys? Red and yellow. Green and blue, right? Good. Yes, said the little girl. That is very, very good. She likes grapes. Now I have apples and pears, bananas and grapes. That makes a good gift. All you need now is a basket. I have a basket, said the little girl. So she took her basket and she filled it with green pears, the yellow bananas, and the red apples, and the blue grapes. And it made an absolutely lovely present. Look at how pretty that is, guys. That's just beautiful. Beauty, 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 beauty. Thank you for your help, Mr. Rabbit, said the little girl. Not at all, said Mr. Rabbit. Very glad to help. Goodbye now, said the little girl. Goodbye, said Mr. Rabbit. And a happy, happy birthday and a happy fruit basket to your mama for her birthday. Hey, wave goodbye. Do you think her mama liked it? I'm sure she loved it because anything that mamas get from their kids for their birthdays, they love very, very much. So, Nana and Papa love you guys. I hope you have a good day and that you enjoy the story. Biggs, I got a couple of installments coming for you from a book called Ulysses Moore and the Door to Time. I hope you haven't read it yet because it looks like a fun one to me. All right, guys. Have a good day. Nana loves you very much. Bye.